Welcome YouTube, Bobby G here. Today I'd like to discuss my changeover from gravel to sand. So let's talk. I shot this video six months ago, so at the end of the video I will be able to sum up my thoughts on the pros and cons I experience. The three main reasons I am making this change are maintenance, water quality, and aesthetics. After doing a fair bit of research, the general consensus seemed to be having a sand substrate would greatly reduce the detritus buildup and therefore would almost eliminate the need to vacuum the substrate. Obviously, having less detritus buildup would improve water quality. From an aesthetics aspect, it's personal preference as to which looks best. I'm hopeful that after all this work, I will like the new look. Jimmy Power what do you want, Rich? Proven loans, highest in the nation hey. customer satisfaction for primary mortgage origination. Are you getting ready to help? And for the fourth year in a row, they've also... Be sure all your equipment is ready. I have my Aquion water change system here in the bucket, which I'll show you a little more in detail in a minute. I have empty pails set out, and I have my sand that I've rinsed about half an hour each bucket already. So let's get on with the project. So step one will be to remove all the rock, plants, and decorations. Step two is to do a thorough vacuuming of the gravel. Uh, here I'm showing you my Aquion water change system that I've spliced in a MagDrive 9.5 uh, in line. I find I get better results from it than relying on my tap water to uh, create a vacuum. So uh, I run this to my sink and this way I also feel I'm not wasting water uh, with my tap turned on the whole time I'm extracting water from the tank. Um, the system works really well. It's maybe a little harder to prime with that pump in between, but I've found a way. So Step three will be to remove all the gravel. For that, I have a large strainer that I scoop it out with and throw it into a bucket. One of my worries in doing this project is how much of the total beneficial bacteria in an aquarium system is attached to the gravel. Will I be removing so much bacteria from my system that it will have a mini crash and will my fish suffer or worst case scenario, will they get sick and die? My system has two filters, one internal Louisville 305 with Biohome Ultimate in it and a HOB Emperor 400. I'm hopeful these are where the majority of the bacteria live and therefore there won't be an appreciable amount of loss. Next is to remove any remaining gravel with a simple hose and pail. I find this method to be the easiest way. I will finish by vacuuming any remaining detritus left over.
this point, it looks to me like all the fish are doing well. I don't see any of them having any respiration issues and they're swimming around. I'm certain they're wondering what's going on. Okay, step number four will be to fill the aquarium with the sand. I've chosen a product called White Lightning. I purchased it over at a local pool supply and service company. Uh, like I said earlier, I rinsed it really well. I rinsed each pail for about 30 minutes with a garden hose. And uh, here I will try to distribute it somewhat evenly. It doesn't look like it's stirring up too much commotion. So things are going well. Uh, and when I'm finished with this, the next step will be to simply level it out. Now for that, I have a handy spatula. You can see here that I've only used one pail of sand. So that would be 50 pounds. Step number five will be to fill the aquarium with water. Before we do this, we will add some Seachem Prime. I like using Seachem products and Prime is one of my favorites. For step six, I will replace the rock, plants, and decorations. We're getting close to the end now. I've never really noticed any adverse effects with water changes when I use Prime. My water changes, like I said, are twice a week, anywhere between 50 and 80% of the water. Now that the aquarium is full, the question is how long will it take for the water to clear up? So let's watch for the next minute, which in real time is an hour, to see if there is any change. I've chosen to not use any clarifiers, as I would prefer to have a little more patience and allow it to clear on its own. Clarifiers may claim to be safe for your fish, plants, and filters but I see no reason to test this claim. In total, this project took about three hours and at this point, I am quite happy with the results. I didn't expect the water to be as clear as it is at this point in time. Uh, time will tell what the real pros and cons are. Now, six months later, I'll share my thoughts on the pros and cons that I have personally experienced and whether I'd do it again. First off, I will mention the pros. The most obvious difference is the new aesthetic look. As I said earlier though, it's each to his own, but I think the sand substrate looks more natural and I think it looks awesome. The obvious contrast between my black background and the sand seems to bring out all the colors of my fish. You tell me what you think. The fish love digging in it and I feel more closely mimics their natural habitat. I feel the most important and notable result 
is in the maintenance requirements and the resulting water quality. I am, am amazed with the fact that I no longer have to vacuum debris from the substrate. Previously, previously with the gravel, I was doing bi-weekly water changes and weekly gravel vacuuming. I was always shocked how much detritus would build up in one week's time. Mind you, my aquarium is heavily stocked. I still do bi-weekly water changes, but no longer need to vacuum. I generally will run my fingers through the sand to rescape it, which gives the fish a continual project. And also, I do not want to experience the dreaded gas pockets that I hear and read about. The simple fact that there is little to no detritus sitting in the substrate rotting away for sure makes for better water quality. I would expect the likelihood of the buildup of nitrates and phosphates has been greatly reduced. As for the cons, I only have one. I do get a small amount of sand in my filters, and I expect this is not great for the impellers or motors. The amount of sand is not likely to have much effect. So the last question is, would I do it again? The answer is absolutely, but I never expect to have to do it again as I will never have a gravel substrate to change over. I appreciate you spending this time with me today. Feel free to comment or ask questions. Please like, subscribe and share. And as always, make your today Awesome.